Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Alert, and in this video I'm going to tell you my top tips and resources that I found so helpful in getting an A-star in A-level chemistry. Now I know A-level chemistry is one of these subjects that is quite hard with the grade boundaries being really high and a lot of people I know are dreading it and are dreading starting it. So whether you're in year 12 starting A-level chemistry and you're looking for some resources and tips or whether you're in year 13 and you've already done a year of A-level chemistry and you're getting into more difficult content, I'm sure this video will provide you with tips and resources that would be really helpful for you. And make sure to stick out to the end of the video because my final tip is going to have the one of the best websites that I've found for A-level chemistry and the website that has helped me tremendously in preparing for my A-levels and helped me get that A-star. So now without further ado, let's get started. My first tip is Chemrevise. Now Chemrevise is a website that has notes for A-level chemistry for AQA, Edexcel and OCR and I've just found that these notes are the best thing that I've ever found. When I tell you I have literally not used the AQA website or the AQA textbook for chemistry almost at all. I've just been using these notes and they're so good. So the thing about the camera vise is that all the notes are already simplified and there's no waffle of some sort. So you don't really need to kind of just read the notes and then write your own notes. They're already simplified enough for you with all the key information. Now another thing is all the notes are organized in boxes of information and some of the boxes are even highlighted with things such as oh this you have to memorize this or this is key information and it just makes it so much easier in understanding what's the information that you need to know what's the information that you just need to get a vague idea of and it's just been so helpful it also highlights in certain topics the equations that you need to memorize the equations that you just need to un understand a bit and overall i think camera wise is a must for you guys starting a level chemistry it's going to be extremely helpful and it's a website that i once i found it i've literally never turned back it's an amazing website <music> My second tip is to make use of flashcards and using active recall and that sort of method. Chemistry is full of kind of equations and reactions that you need to memorize and certain conditions for reactions. It's really difficult to memorize all of this stuff. Now you have to remember that chemistry or A-level chemistry is a subject that is mainly A01. So it means that if you want to get the high grades or if you want to get an A star in A, you would need to just simply memorize information and understand how to answer the question. So in order to do that, it's it's really important that you spend your time memorizing all the equations, spend your time memorizing all the reactions that you need to know. So using flashcards has really helped me in doing that and that's what I do. So the way that I studied was I would use camera Vise for notes and when I find that there are a lot of reactions or equations that I need to remember, I would then make flashcards of them and I would use them to revise regularly. And just making sure that you go through these flashcards regularly is so important. I'm going to link down some of the flashcards that I made online. So I've used mainly Quizlet, I know there's Anki that you can use or you can just simply make written and flashcards. Now my third tip is make sure that you are working on understanding the concept and not just memorizing. So although I've mentioned flashcards and using camera bias to get all the information, it's really important for you to understand the concept of the information. So for example, organic chemistry, I always struggled in memorizing the reactions, especially with the direction of the arrows. But once you understand that when the arrow moves this way, that means that electrons are moving this way, then understanding this concept is going to make it much easier when you're writing the equation or trying to remember because you already know that okay if the electrons are moving this way then that means the arrow must face this way so understanding the concept is really important and it's going to help you so much in answering questions and memorizing equations off the top of my head another thing that it could apply to is electrochemistry so i've struggled in electrochemistry a lot because i found it just so hard to get your head around but once it clicks for you and once you get your head around it you'll find that it gets so much easier because you don't even need to memorize the equations you can just kind of figure out what's if, okay, if this is the electrode and this is the electrode, they're gonna react this way, then this is going to happen. So really make sure that you're working on understanding the concept. Some of the ways that you can do this is just watching videos online that describe or explain what's happening. Make sure to ask your teacher specifically to explain how this occurs or why this happens. So make sure you're putting effort into looking at the overall concept instead of just memorizing equations. My fourth tip would be to really, really, really work on your 
required practicals and not just required practicals all the other practicals that you have in chemistry so almost in every single set of papers you're going to have a good number of marks on for example why a certain um, apparatus is used or why a certain reaction occurs in a practical so it's really important for you to have very good firm knowledge of your required practicals it's also really important to understand the different uses of apparatus and why certain apparatus is used over others now chemrevise is also really helpful in this because it has a group of notes just for practicals so you can go through it and it tells you why each practice is used for each practical and it's just crazy helpful there's always almost always a question on also why a certain step is needed or what a certain step does or for example they give you a method and you'd say what would you change or what did the student do wrong and the only way you can answer this is by having a very good understanding of the required practical and the apparatus that's involved in it my fifth tip would be for A-level chemistry is to make sure that you are solid on the basic equations in chemistry. Now I'm going to put them up here, but stuff like moles and concentration, uh, yield of reaction and stuff like that is really important. Knowing them by heart and really understanding them is going to make it so much easier for you to arrange them and apply them in more complex questions and calculations. A-level chemistry calculations are kind of a jump from GCSE. They get much more complex and are worth a lot of more and a lot of steps. The only way for you to be able to comfortably do them is by really knowing and understanding these basic equations. Now, my final tip, and this is the biggest, the golden tip, okay? And that is practice, practice questions. Now, for A-levels, for any A-level subject, practice is crucial. And I've mentioned this in another video before that I'm going to put up here um, about just getting ready for A-levels and how to prepare yourself for sixth form. But practice questions are just crucial. Now, for chemistry, though, I have a couple of websites that I found were amazingly helpful. So first one is quite a common one, which is physics and maths tutor. Physics and maths tutor is really helpful in not not just questions but also notes and flashcards for the questions it also has them by topic and then it also has past papers and that's just really useful because most of the time you want to practice a certain topic instead of just doing a whole past paper now the second website and this website when i tell you it's like literally the only thing i used when i was preparing for a levels i went through the whole website doing all the papers and all the questions and it was amazingly helpful and that is a level chemistry i'm going to link it down it's just simply a level chemistry.co.uk and it's an amazing website so for each year so for year one it has a group of questions on all the topics and there's a test and a homework for each topic so the test is worth 50 and the homework is worth 80 marks so you have a lot of questions on each topic which is amazing above that you also have a section that is purely for past papers you have i think around 17 paper ones or something around 15 paper twos along these numbers and they were just amazingly helpful now for this though i would recommend that if you're going to do the past papers just do them in bulk don't do just one and leave it because the difficulty level does vary a bit which is to be expected if it's not made by the board itself but i found it just an amazing website to use along with that you have other ones like study mind i've also used that and just simply the aqa or your board website i did aqa and they usually have past papers that you can use but yeah a lab chemistry has a lot of papers that you can use so definitely check it out so yeah these are the main tips or the main tips that i have in terms of revising and the websites that i use that help me so much just some quick tips that i've talked about before in my sixth form video but make sure that you're not lagging behind so make sure that from the start of year 12 you are sitting down your lessons you're making notes in each lesson that you're caught up on all the notes so you don't end up having mocks and then exams and you just find that you have a lot of topics that you haven't done and you have to cram also make sure that you're always doing practice questions so not just before exams but always as, a, as a usual you should be doing practice questions they're so important understanding the mark scheme and also just trying a variety of questions and they're also going to help you in pinpointing the topics that you struggle in the topics that are harder for you and the topics that are easier for you so you'll be able to know what to focus on and then finally during exam period work on having like an exam timetable and scheduling yourself because I find that if you do not have there are the times that I did not use an exam timetable I would find that at some point I realized I've forgotten a topic to study and or I've forgotten to revise a certain aspect that I struggled on so having an exam timetable makes sure that I've gone through everything that I need to go through and yeah that's it that's all the tips I have I hope you guys ace A-level chemistry and get those A stars and good luck in the coming school year bye